Uh, goddamn, you know I feel it all the fans with the album, but you know I gotta kill it first. Hella promo with the motherfucking killer verse. Rest in peace, man. I wish I had a killer verse. So we're gonna do a little segment where I'm gonna ask you uh, questions from your fans on Twitter. Okay. Uh, this is from Victor Hernandez. He wants to know for a young and up and coming rapper, what's some advice you would give? Damn, that's a really good one. Well, first and foremost, you have to have persistence, determination, realism, and want success more than your next breath, period. But a lot of people will like, you know, I've got, have hit me up and be like, yo, uh, I'm going to, you know, quit my job and go do this. And, and the, the first thing that I say is like, don't quit your job, don't quit school, uh, work on what you're doing until you're making a paycheck from music that is greater than or, or equal to what you're already making or what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, cause not a lot of people know that when I was 17, I had two jobs that I worked, you know, waking up at five in the morning, working eight hours, then 3 p.m. and then go in there and then get home nine, 10 at night and then making music all night and then going and doing it over and over again. So it's like, if you want it, you'll do it, but also don't jeopardize your rent, don't jeopardize your education. So if you want it, do it, you know, but be realistic about it. Because, like, like, rapping in itself is unrealistic. Uh, but, you know, there, there's no handbook to this. If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, and you're of sound mind, you go to college, you, you know, read a book, you write down the answers, and you get your degree. I mean, essentially, you know. Right. But it's like with rap, there's no, no. What Jay did, what Drake did, what Cole did, what Kendrick is doing, what all these different people. Like, that's what they did. Just because it worked for them doesn't mean it'll work for you. Just mm -hmm. like if you want to go to school and be a lawyer, just like everybody else, you can go and do it. So be realistic about it. You know what I mean? You know, take the right steps. So what if somebody would have told you that? Or somebody did tell you that? I'm sure at some point in your career somebody told you, be realistic. What were you thinking when they told you that? I was like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was because I held a job and I right. paid my rent and I did what I needed to do. And, um, you know, I was lucky. I had, a, I had an opportunity where Big Lenny let me live in his house for a year for free put clothes on my back you know put food in my mouth and and i told him just give me a year man just give me a year he gave me a year sure enough a year later i signed a def jam told him to quit his job at 12 years and we moved to la so there's some god in there too you know hooking it up so but uh if you want it, if you want it you can do it the mind is a powerful thing yeah, feel like I've been waiting forever for this shit. First album in the game, I'm trying to level with this shit. My fans probably thinking he won't never drop that shit. But I'm trying to make it perfect so you all cop that shit. Alright, this is Big Time 33 wants to know, uh, who are your top five artists now and of all time? Damn, dude. We just we, we talk about this all the time. <laughs> that's a hard one. Now and of all time? So that's like 10 artists? <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot. I don't know how many. Your money's worth. Yeah, I know. I'll, uh, right now, people out now, uh, Drake, Kendrick, Cole, uh, those are probably my top three. I mean, obviously Kanye and like the legends, you know, so all times Kanye, uh, Nas, uh, Black Thought, From the Roots, Don't Get It Twisted, uh, Tribe Called Quest, Wu-Tang, like, you know, it's, it's a lot. But right now, yeah, uh, Kendrick, Drake, Cole. Uh, who? Oh, Gambino, dog. Charles Gambino, the homie. He's fucking crazy. Big Mensa right now. Ooh, he's tight. Um, damn, I'm forgetting some people. My bad. I love y'all. <laughs> That's the hard part about that question is yeah. you, you answer it and then like. Oh, Isaiah look, Rashad. Ooh. You look at it, the video the next day and you're like, oh shit, I, I didn't shout said. out such and such. Yeah. I didn't shout out or somebody. You get an email from somebody. How come you didn't shout me out? Yeah, I know. It's like. My man, man, it's just spur of a moment. Type I know, of thing. man, because if I didn't do that, Kanye be hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa wants to know what song has the most meaning to you? What song is your favorite? They don't have to be your own. Oh, the first thing that comes to mind is Human Nature by uh, Michael Jackson. Hmm. And they say, Why? Why? Tell them that it's human nature. Why? Why would you do me that way? I remember when I, um, me and my like, first love ever broke up, I was like fucking fucked up, bro. I was like depressed and shit. I remember listening to that shit and I'm like, human nature, man, we're young, people grow together, they grow apart. It's like, you can't be mad at anybody for, you know, what they, how they feel, it's just human nature. So that's a big one. And then uh, one of mine is off of the album and I won't say what it is or what it has to do with, but I will say that it is the title track to the album. Could you name one of the artists featured on your debut album? Uh, Chris Hare wants to know. Um, there is nobody on my album. No rappers, anyway. So everything else has to be a secret. Uh, everybody wants to know when the album's coming out. 
in uh, due time. Uh, 2014. Uh, <laughs> This is war, everybody ain't no reason I'm a color dog. Get it right. Shout out to the homie Dizzy Wright. In the studio every day, so you know the shit about to be a busy night. What does the rat pack mean to you? Oh, Wants man. to know Sean. Um, that's a really great question. The rat pack, which obviously stands for real all the time, means it means many things. I think first and foremost in my circle, it means family and unity. You know, me, Castro, and Big Limbo were like the first real guys, and then six came along and everybody, and we're all still here. Um, so it means family, you know, I, I, in many ways, the family I never even had growing up. So that's mm. very special to me. Um, also, uh, it means family around the world, man. It means that I can go anywhere and be accepted and know that, uh, you know, if I ever needed anything, I could go to one of these Rat Pack members and that they would look out for me just like I do for them through my music. Mm -hmm. uh, it means happiness. And like I said, traveling the world, doing what you love because of the Rat Pack. So that's what it means to me. Bring it down for these motherfuckers thinking that they fucking with me now But they never was Tell me where was y'all back on the come up way before the bus Chilling with my homies in the basement like it really was Fucking with me now Top down, just the four of us rap. Allison wants to know <laughs> What did you actually want to be when you grew up? An entertainer uh, I think I always wanted to be an actor I still want to be an actor But uh, time and place I always say this You, you look on people's Insta uh, Twitters and it's like Single mother slash actress, dancer, singer, this, that you know, college student, like, damn, like master one thing before you go on. So I always wanted to be an actor. I still want to. But at the end of the day, it was always entertainment. Uh, Shit Logic writes, hashtag, who is Nikki? Okay. So um, Nikki is, is a very, very special woman in my life. And I've known her for a long time. And I'm not going to go t into depths on to who she is because it would take away from the album when you find out. I've known her for a really long time. She's always been there for me. And... Um, there's many stories about her, so you'll find out on the album. Isaiah wants to know, chicken or, or the egg? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Any future tracks with J. Cole? I'd love to see that collab, says S. Dom P. I'm sure, in time. Um, but hold up, wait, back to the chicken. You know what? I think the chicken. The chicken? Because who the fuck was going to keep the egg warm? True that. True that, right? That's real. <laughs>